Hey, I'm Tom from Shaw, and welcome back to the Shaw Whiteboard series. In this instalment, we're going to cover the topic of intermodulation. Now, intermodulation is one of these kind of buzzwords that happens within the radio microphone world. It's one of these things we don't always necessarily know what's going on with. I'm hoping to alleviate that for you today. The fact that intermodulations happen mean that we need to be quite careful about how we perform our radio microphone coordination. That's to say that the radio frequency that transmitted through users needs to make sure it's not using a frequency that's actually an intermodulation caused by radio mics one and two. I'll now show you how they work. So an intermodulation it's actually an interaction between two frequencies happening simultaneously. It's a bit like in music, when you play two different notes on a piano, you're not hearing just those two primary fundamental frequencies, but you're hearing the harmonics of each of those notes, and also the harmonics of each of those notes interacting with each other at the same time. We've got two radio mics on air here, a radio mic at 595 MHz, and another radio mic at 600 MHz. So each of these will produce a fundamental frequency, a double, a triple, etc. of those frequencies, and those doubles and triples will also interact with the other fundamentals, doubles and triples from the other radio microphone. So let's have a look at what's happening here. Uh, so this is our fundamental frequency, as is this a second one, but the intermodulations happen when we take a double of frequency one minus frequency two. So a double of frequency one is 1190 minus 600, gives us another intermodulation at, uh, what, 590? Excuse my terrible writing. Conversely, if we take a double of frequency two, 1200 minus 595, we get another intermodulation appearing at 605 megahertz. Notice that the distance between frequency two and the intermodulation is the same as the distance between the two primary transmissions and there as well. So the type of intermodulations we looked at a moment ago was called two transmitter, third order. That's because we looked at only two transmitters and the third order comes with a double of frequency one minus a single of frequency two, or a double of frequency two minus a single of frequency uh, one. We're now gonna look at three transmitter, third order. So it's gonna be the combination of frequency one with frequency two and frequency three. Now I've done some really advanced mathematics for you. <clears throat> so added up these two and took away this one, added up these two and took away that one, and then lastly added up these two and took away this one. And those three microphones end up giving us three further third order intermodulations, so or other frequencies we now can't use. So we looked at two transmitter third order, three transmitter third order, and I just added to my graph all of the intermodulation products that will be covered by just those three transmissions. So we've originally got one, two, three frequencies on air. They're the ones we actually want. But simply by putting those three on air, we've created one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine other frequencies. So there's the whole bunch of other spectrum that we now can't use. So what's the best way to avoid this? Well, the best way to avoid it is to use the pre-made groups and channels, as discussed previously, uh, built into all of the Shure radio kit. Shure did a whole bunch of coordination to save people like me having to do all this maths every time we go to a gig. So we know that if we tune all of our radio kit within a similar model to group one, we know that group one channel one, group one channel two, etc., are always gonna be completely clear of intermodulations. Alternatively, you could always use Shaw's wireless workbench software to perform an advanced coordination if you're mixing and matching like SLX, ULXD, UHFR and some PSM equipment as well. I hope you enjoyed today's Shaw whiteboard session on intermodulation. For more information, you can come to one of our wireless mastered sessions or perhaps one of the wireless workbench six masterclasses that we offer here at Shaw UK. For more information and to keep up to date with the rest of the whiteboard series, do make sure you subscribe at losingyourvoice.co.uk.